hello friends welcome back to another tutorial on git so we are back with this uh, git tutorial for beginners uh, series and uh, if you have seen uh, my previous tutorial we have done a few topics on git so in this tutorial we are going to speak or go through specifically on repositories so what we will see in this uh, video is like more on uh, remote repository what do you mean by remote repository how we can create remote repository mainly on github or gitlab and also how you can set up a local git repository uh, you, how do you can initialize a repository in the locally in your windows machine and also we will see how we can clone a repository from remote repository like gitlab or github okay so before uh, you know, uh, starting on that let's uh, talk about a little bit on uh, the concept again so uh, uh, you know this would be my first git project which i'm doing part of this tutorial and uh, we'll be working on this local repository and remote repository very frequent now after this tutorial so this would be the very base for it so we discussed about uh, how the workflow will happen in uh, git right so there will be different uh, things uh, terminologies like working directory staging local repository and remote repository so in our case the remote repository will be github or gitlab so we will see how to create a repository there okay and uh, uh, once you have the repository in the remote uh, github or gitlab you can clone those into your uh, local machine uh, which will be your windows or any um, kind of machine where you have git uh, install so you can use git bash or git gui uh, command to do that so once you clone it on the machine uh, that will be called as a local repository right and any changes you make you know it will happen in the working directory so once you make the changes you have to add those uh, changes into the staging area so you need to add those changes so but it will not directly go to the local repository you need to add those otherwise it will be still in the working uh, directory so once you add those stages uh, changes into the staging area then you have to commit those changes to move it to the local uh, repository so once you have it in the local repository then you can push it to the remote repository so that you know all the changes you have done will be replicated on the remote repository itself so these things we can do it with a few commands so we will see all those things in the upcoming tutorials but this is how the uh, basic workflow will happen so if you don't know uh, how uh, the workflow will happen for git i just want to share that so let's uh, see first in this tutorial like how to create uh, you know uh, a remote repository then we'll see what do you mean by local repository and then we will move on step by step so uh, before i move on uh, i have a request or uh, you know uh, kindly subscribe to my channel uh, if you are new to the my channel or if you have not subscribed yet i would request you to click on the subscribe button also uh, kindly like the video share and comment so if you are using a windows machine and if you have uh, you know a, a folder where you want to save your files of your uh, development activities for example i have a folder called uh, first project so a similar way like if you have web development if you have a lot of files this is a blank file okay because i don't want to show you what actually will happen this can be a folder where you have a lot of existing file or already developed a project okay so uh, what i will do is uh, you know since uh, we already installed git on this machine if you don't know how to do this please check my previous tutorial i will link it to the video description there you, we have installed git and we have uh, something called git bash right so if you see we have options if you right click you have a git bash here right so if i click on it uh, it will open up a window called git bash right and if you see this location by default it has uh, moved to see git and uh, first project right so if you see ls nothing is there so my current directory is uh, a c uh, for c drive git and first project so uh, uh, let me also so like uh, there are no hidden files as well so uh, what i want to do is if i want to convert this uh, folder as a git folder uh, uh, repository what you need to do is you need to initiate uh, the git so you can just run this command git init so once i run the command you can see initialize an empty git repository in this folder right and you can see there is something called dot git got created and you see this name uh, after that it has changed with the bracket called master so this folder will act as a default uh, master branch that's why it has created that so now if you see a, 
lsi funnel you can see there is something called dot git there is a folder got created so if i go to this folder this is a dot git folder if you don't see this folder that means because the hidden file you need to go to your um, options and change the uh, hidden files to show hidden files then you will be able to see this so if you go into that you will have a lot of uh, configuration description objects and all those things so we will talk about this dot git folder in the upcoming tutorial but i just want to show like whenever you convert uh, your application or you know the project uh, folder into a git uh, repository you will have a dot git folder in that so that will shows like you know it's a git repository and it will store a lot of metadata about your repository okay now let's see how we can uh, create a remote repository so for example uh, let the, we we have different options we will be talking uh, here more about github and gitlab so if you go to github.com you will be getting an option where you can uh, set up uh, or register for github this is a free uh, github registration so you don't have to pay or anything you just click on sign up okay and uh, create an account so you can uh, give a username you give your email address and then you create an account so it will verify your account since i already created i'm not going to do it here okay and the same way like if you go to about.gitlab.com you can click here try gitlab for free and uh, you will also have an option start free trial so don't worry these are all uh, you know free account where you have uh, you know enough uh, option to make use of it to create public and private uh, repository so here also you give your details and just uh, uh, register for uh, gitlab so once you register in uh, github or gitlab so it will be like this so i have already logged into gitlab i'm sorry github so this is my github repository where i have linked this uh, for a lot of my tutorial uh, in the uh, video description so you'll be knowing about this so i have a lot of repository here where i have created same way like if i go to gitlab i have uh, some of repository here so to create the repository it's very simple in github you just click over here the new and uh, you just uh, give the details uh, the repository name whether it should be public or private and you can add uh, readme file git ignore choose a license and you can create it and the same way like for gitlab let's create a new project can you have a blank project or from template import project so i'll go for a blank project okay and i will give the name as my first my first kit project and uh, you can give some description i am going to give make it as a public and i'm not going to add any readme file now okay so i'll just click on create uh, because i just did not add the readme file to show you this or so since it's a uh, no no files are available there so now you need to run some command on your uh, local machine if you want to add anything okay so now if you see uh, th it give you the information uh, by itself okay so uh, if you want to set up you know the global uh, configuration it's asked you to set up your username and email address and uh, you know if you want to clone it this is a message and you have to add you know git commit git push so all these uh, commands we will uh, you know uh, see it in the upcoming uh, tutorial so what i will do is i'll just want to clone this uh, one first okay so i'll just uh, copy this command so if i open to the git bash and i'm in this folder c git okay so what i want to do is i'll run this uh, command which is just copy it sorry it should be git clone okay so the command will be git clone and the uh, git repository which i want to clone so i'll enter it so you can see cloning so now it's asking for you for some authentication so you can uh, just click on yes okay i think this is because you know as i mentioned it's the first time you need to add that uh, username and password so let's do that so let's uh, set up the configuration global config first Okay, then let's uh, do a clone again. Okay, let's do one thing because I think this uh, what we are using here it's uh, uh, 
uh, SSH so let's use this uh, HTTPS okay so I will use git clone and the HTTPS let's see what it does yep so now you can see uh, you appear a clone a empty repository so let's go uh, to the folder and see what it look like so now you see like we have a folder called first git uh, project has been cloned and uh, you know uh, you have uh, only just dot git uh, file right so it's almost similar like what we created the other folder like first project now it's the first git project uh, which is coming uh, from the GitLab. So uh, you know, why SSH we had some issues because we are not configured SSH so uh, we have to use uh, the HTTPS for cloning uh, for this time. We'll talk about SSH and everything in the upcoming tutorial. Uh, but if you see on the left side uh, you have a lot of options for in the GitLab like CI CD uh, you know merge requests issues uh, operations uh, analytics so a lot of options all these things we will see it in the upcoming tutorial we just wanted to show you like how we can create a remote repository and how to clone it and how a local repository will look like so that is all for this tutorial so you can use github or gitlab depending upon your interest what you like so no problem it's up to you how you want to do it and um, we'll see about all these commands so commands are almost same because it's going to use git uh, as the version control uh, software on the uh, windows machine so the repository can be even gitlab or github but the git uh, commands are going to be almost same okay so we'll see about all this we also will see in the upcoming tutorial what is a dot git folder and what are the contents it have it what are the configurations that will have it so all those things we will cover it in the upcoming tutorial so that is all uh, for this one and I hope uh, this tutorial is informative for you. So uh, cl please click on the subscribe button for more videos and also kindly uh, like this video, share and comment.